would, would you like, would you not like? Uh, well, obviously, I didn't like the, the last quarter and a half. I thought we just kind of quit playing, and, um, and they didn't, you know, to their credit. I, that's, I've seen them enough. You know, Will played down there last year, and so, you know, I went down a number of times and got to catch, catch their second halves. So, you know, I've seen them a ton, and they play really hard. And uh, I know it meant a, a lot to a few of their players to, to come up here. So I think that part's neat. Uh, you know, I was just disappointed in how we finished the game. But, you know, our, our, the unit that's going to play the majority of the time, right, I thought we looked pretty good. I thought we did some really good things tonight, especially defensively. Um, and, you know, there at the end, quite frankly, we just wanted to let them play through it. You're going to have to learn. Play through it. There were times we had four freshmen on the court, five new kids, and, and it looked like it from time to time. Encouraged by the three-point shooting, the first two and a half. Yeah, I thought our initial unit looked really good. Seriously, you know, Philly, Sophia, Chance, uh, Grace, uh, you know, Peyton. I thought Peyton played really well tonight. And then, you know, the first the, the, the first substitutions early, uh, we had it going. But, you know, we played every player each half. So sometimes that, that you know, takes away the continuity and you struggle with it. And it showed in our turnovers. But, uh, yeah, I just think a couple of, couple of our players just really struggled. But it, it's okay. You know, we'll learn from it. I'm, I'm, I'm not that worried. It mean for Grace and mean for your group to see a couple of threes going early. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, Grace has been really working on that phase of her game. And, you know, she wants to be a pro. And to be a pro, she can't do it as probably a four. So she's going to have to be a player that plays on the perimeter a little bit, a small forward. And, and uh, as such, she's going to need to make that shot. And she can. They look good. Rhythm was good. Timing was good, so. How much do you need Peyton yeah. to be the tone setter on both ends, Kelly? And, and how do you embrace that where you've had transfers, you've had prominent transfers, but not one who had to be that prominent necessarily on both ends to be maybe even the lead on both ends in that way? Yeah, no, Peyton, I thought, played great. And, you know, this wouldn't have looked like this had we let her – play a little bit more we you know we're going to need her it's a long season and uh you know and she's had some some you know health issues in terms of her 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 um you know some injury stuff and we've limited her in practice a little bit because we're playing her for the long haul you know she's going to have to log a lot of minutes for us and and yeah she did great i you know we lost some scoring in the backcourt but i think she's going to give us between her and sophia and chance in a more important role, I think we're going to be able to make up for, for those losses in terms of the scoring. And I'm glad you mentioned on both ends of the floor because she really gives us that toughness at the other end. So, um, uh, yeah, she was a little uh, disappointed when I said, you know, that's it. I don't know, it was three or four minutes into the second half. She said, let's shut it down. You know about instilling an identity of grit and toughness on the defensive end, Kelly, because I'm not saying this disparagingly, you know that. Those are not words that would be used to describe this program for your tenure. And that's not a knock. It's just you were an offensive minded. This was about yeah. 80 and 90 points, not about grinding out games in the low 60s. So how do you go about instilling that other than bringing in somebody from Miami, Ohio who's pretty in Well, you know, we've listen, the transfers, you know, that. It's well documented. We've we've lost some, and you know we're bringing some in. I think we're in a position where we can reset. I, I love the fact that Chance and, and Grace are here. Those are great pieces, a, a foundation that we can build upon. And um, yeah, I mean we've had some good transfers here in the past. I think we can still be a gritty, tough team. You can be a great. You know what? We had individuals on our best teams here that couldn't guard people individually, but they were great team defenders. And our defensive efficiency, you know, in 2020 was like sixth in the country, especially when you're considering off the charts number one offensively. So, yeah, that's kind of how I skew, but we can still make that happen. And I think Sophia is an elite, can be an elite defender. Chance can be an elite defender. Uh, I think Philly, you know, has, has gotten better at it. She's, uh, tonight's a tough night for her. That's a, that's a tough matchup. And, uh, uh, you know, and Grace is, is long and athletic. So I think we, and then Peyton is tough as nails. So that starting unit, I think we can be pretty good defensively. And we showed it tonight at times. They struggled on, in key times. Uh, it's our bench. We've got to pick it up. Okay. And bless their hearts. You know, a lot of them, you know, their first time. 
Uh, it's good to see Philippa make her first point, you know, as in a playing in college basketball. Same with Sammy, same with Sarah. So there was, you know, we'll, 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 we'll use it as motivation this week and come back when we better be a lot better next week because NAU's pretty good. They just beat Texas Tech the other night on the road in an exhibition game. So, yeah. Like Did that answer your question, JC? Mm -hmm. All right, big guy. How do you feel like you guys played in transition? Uh, early we were okay, and then I, I thought we could have made more of some of our transition opportunities in the first half. I'm gonna the, the second half. I'm gonna just kind of you know throw throw to the side a little bit because we weren't good in any phase then. But uh, yeah, I thought when we needed to be, we were decent in transition. Yeah. What makes Sophia capable of, of being an elite defender, other than you know having a good size, good length, all those things? What tangibly as a player makes her capable of that? Well, that's a great start. <laughs> length. Uh, secondly, she likes to play that into the court. You know, it's important to her. And she's versatile, too. So she can guard three or four positions. And, uh, you know, so and she's really good. Uh, you know, we, we run a lot of uh, point zone. And she's really good on the point. You know, gets a lot of tips, a lot of deflections. That happens in practice, too. So, yeah, I think she's uh, going to be a real good two-way player for us. What are the chances we see Bella in the season opener next week? Uh, I hope so. Because she's kind of been our, our most consistent shooter uh, all fall. We, we, keep, we stat every practice anytime we go 4-on-4 four four live or 5-on-5 five five live. And she's been our most consistent. She's shooting over 50% from the three. So uh, it's nice to have somebody like that in the corner, you know, that's always available for you. And she's actually a really solid defender too. So good, good player. Uh, when it comes to concussion protocol, man, I don't touch that one. Yeah, that's, that's the doctors. So... Priscilla unable to go tonight? No. No, she's, she's been great in practice. Uh, no, I think I, I don't think you can play in an exhibition as a transfer. I, I, I don't think you can. You can as an incoming freshman and then still redshirt, but I, I don't think she can play. If we don't know the rule, we err on the side of caution. Because we wouldn't want to, to play her. But she, she, hel she would really help us. I think she would give us that solid uh, seventh or eighth kid and give us some length. And she defends very similarly to, to um, Sophia. So. But that's in the hands of the NCA right now. Big picture, what were you most pleased with from today's game? What's that? Big picture, what were you most pleased with from today's game? Uh, just that when we were good, we were pretty good. I mean, if we really wanted to focus on, on a score, we could have made it you know, whatever, but, um, you know, it's okay. We got to grow from it. Everybody needs, we need our players to, to step up. And this was our only opportunity uh, to let Philippa and Sammy and those kids play as, as freshmen. So, um, yeah, and nobody got hurt. That's part of it. Yeah, nobody got hurt. Okay, you guys.